Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna do an update on the Cowboy Bebop, Netflix Cowboy Bebop. Debacle. Sorry. Debacle. Yeah, I don't even know. If, I don't even wanna call this Cowboy Bebop. We wanna uh, call it instead. Cowboy Nope. Cowboy Nope. <laughs> Cowboy, nope. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, Netflix, yeah, they're going to do a, a, a very ill-conceived and ill-received live-action version of classic anime, classic, classic anime, Cowboy Bebop. And as if that doesn't make you cringe enough, what the actress who is playing Faye Valentine said about the character and her costume and the fans uh, will make you cringe because she is basically defending Netflix's decision to put her in a very conservative outfit. Plus, she seems to have a problem with people that have big boobs. She does, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about how hypocritical uh, she actually is because uh, for all her talk about uh, you know making sure Faye is is well covered up, but uh, yeah, she they don't want to lose the costume in the crevices. She literally has has dressed in other movies. She's dressed uh, more similarly shows, to, yeah. to Faye. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Japan's reaction to the Cowboy Bebop live action show. It's not good. Mm -mm. Uh, spoiler, it's really not good. And then we're going to talk about the the ill-conceived, even more ill-conceived uh, plan to put out uh, prequel comics and, and uh, novels. Oh yeah, I saw this. I was like, American like produced. Me. You mean because what the ones that was based on weren't good enough? Yeah, there were already Cowboy Bebop manga series out right. there. Now they were of course after the show. Yeah, but, but still they've already done it. They've already done this. Uh, already done it and probably done it uh, infinitely better than the Americans, the Westerners mm -hmm. that are going to attempt to uh, do tie-in material. Well, it's going to be based on their version too. Absolutely. They're going to try it. So they're basically, it's not even just they're doing a show. They're going to try to do what their version is and they're going to try to retcon the show yeah. with their version of like the characters. I bet you it's going to look like the characters in the show and not the characters that oh, are that's the exactly, Yeah, that's exactly so what it, it's So it's kind of shit. Yeah, so let's let's talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants guys over 233,000 subs. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Yay. Yeah, give a woohoo. Where's Sorry. your woohoo? I was just being mad. Yay. <laughs> okay. Don't be mad. Be glad. No, I'm just, I just, you know, I understood, okay? I understood what she was saying about the costume, not wanting to wear it. And I, if, if, if she was uncomfortable with it. But it turns out that she has no problem with it whatsoever. And I, I was like, okay, I'll give her that. Maybe they tried. It didn't work. Okay, Maybe. But I still thought it was kind of shit the way she was behaving. Yeah. Um, but no, as it turned out, she wore that. Yeah, she's wearing this. Uh, I don't know what movie this is from, but she was in another movie wearing this. And it's actually, a TV show. And then there's a woman slapping her ass. So it's okay if there's another woman slapping your ass. And look, if you just, you know, change it to yellow, you basically have an anime accurate version of Faye Valentine. Mm -hmm. Give her a red jacket, you know? Um, and yeah, so you can totally pull this off. In life, she's even got cowboy boots. I know. She's even got cowboy boots. So yeah, you totally can do this. So it's look, this could be her. This could be Netflix. It could be both. But instead of getting, you know, uh, Faye, recognizable Faye, we get uh, Foe. Foe. <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing. It could have. There's not this outfit here. There's a couple of tweaks, and it could look even more like the costume. Yeah, they could have, yeah, it, it's they deliberately tried to desexify her, and this is this is something that you know, especially Netflix lately has has been doing. But then they have no problem with The Witcher just having full on frontal nudity. Oh yeah, that's fine. Well, you know, here's the thing about this though: they keep having a fit about. Well, we don't we we have enough female sexualized characters. It's like, did you watch the show? Did you? I mean, I didn't watch as much as Neon did, but I did watch some of yeah. it. Yeah, and that's kind of her shtick. Yeah, she was she was flirty to get what she wanted, and uh, well, well, that's her, part of a place that applause. That's how I that, felt. That is that that's is how I felt when I heard it. Yeah, that is how most people feel about her reaction. It was an over the top virtue signaling uh, fist bump. She wanted uh, uh, high fives on social media. Well, people were like, "Well, she's you know she, she should be allowed to call people out that are mocking her." It's like, okay, yeah, to a point, I do agree with you. If people work out, people harass me all the damn effing time. You know, I get wanting to lash out. The difference is, she's supposed to be professional for a show that hasn't even come out yet. It's probably for the best to not say anything in this in this scenario than do what she did because it comes out as really condescending and catty. It was how she did it. Yeah, I mean, she can be like, yeah, people were mad. And again, you're you're dealing with a pre-existing character, very very popular character. 
very often cosplayed, mm -hmm. um, iconic anime character, and and you're changing her into what looks like just a, a, an NPC from Cyberpunk 2077. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, people are going to be a little pissed, and of course they are. Look, you knew when you went there, Netflix, you knew that any changes to Cowboy Bebop. Again, regarded as one of the best anime series of all time. You knew when you went there, there was going to be backlash. But they already had it. You know, they already had their reactions planned. And it's very similar to Kevin Smith's reaction to Masters of the Universe fans who were angry that the, the new Masters of the Universe series that teased He-Man barely had He-Man in it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like, well, Netflix loved... Basically, he flat said, Netflix loves this. They love the chatter. They love the backlash because it's still, hate views are still views. Yeah, but you know what? Here's the thing, Netflix. You know, you go on about how we should, you know, representation diversity, but then you're taking characters and you're, you're, you're taking representation away from them. Well, here's, here's the thing. Let's talk about that representation and, and, and uh, inclusion and diversity. Current year, you're, you're supposed to always stay in your lane, mm -hmm. right? Like, you can't play a blind nope. person if you're not blind. You can't play a gay person if you're not gay. Uh, Daniela Pineda, is that her name? Pineda? Uh, she's she's from Mexico. Stop Asian Hate also replaced Asian characters with non-Asians. Yeah, she's from Mexico. Faye is from Singapore. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell me, because in Singapore, most, most uh, people from Singapore speak perfect English. You couldn't find an actress from Singapore that mm -hmm. looked more like Faye and that would be happy to have the job and not shit on people. Mm -hmm. Just putting it out there. Yeah. And I mean, this chick, you know, for all her, you know, uppity eye hand, they, you know, oh, we changed the costume because it kept getting lost in my crevices, wore much more like you know, revealing outfits in the past. Between that outfit, she had an outfit for an award show with the V's like way down past her chest. It's like, yeah, if yeah. you go further down, there's like a picture of her at an award show and she's, yeah, look, she's got the V's almost to her, like going down to her navel. And you know, that, you know, that's fine. You know, she, she has no problem with that outfit. That's going to get slurped right up into her crevices. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, probably so. Probably real boobs, probably like. Those like pasty things with like nips on them. So she is of of Mexican descent, playing a character from Singapore. That's a faux pas, Netflix. You know, how yes, could, and then now, you do now that? why did you say Japan has some opinions on this? Oh, Japan's got some. Yeah, they got some opinions. They posted that Netflix Japan anime. Here, here's one of them. Uh, Jet's also skinhead. It's completely different from the image. I wonder if Faye can be seen at the last minute. Do you want to see it as is? Here, here are some of the hot takes. This is coming from Sarah on Drezd. Uh, D dash res.com, uh, which we actually run that site too. Yes. We do. Uh, check it out for pop culture news. Yeah, they have mixed feelings. They're not real happy about it. Here are some translations, uh, some notable criticisms from Japan on Twitter. This just looks off somehow. Spike doesn't have his messy hair of world weary expression. I'm really worried about, I'm really worried about this. Spike isn't handsome enough. We hear that a lot when, when Westerners try to create product for an overseas audience. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a complaint too with uh, Shang-Chi mm -hmm. and with, uh, I think Mulan too. They're like the actors, the actresses aren't attractive enough. They like their hot, their hot K-pop boy band characters over there. Uh, Faye doesn't look sexy at all. Looks like some sort of gag cosplay session. <laughs> I've actually seen cosplay that looks better than this. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. They look more like the cast of Black Lagoon. Looks like City Hunter to me. It it, it does kind of. It yeah. doesn't look. It looks like we're trying to make an anime, an '80s anime fan film, or this is like. No, there's actually a fan film out there. It's better than this. I, yeah, I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but people said it was actually really, really good. Now that's the thing when Netflix does it, and it's worse than the fan film. But this, what this reminds me of, the stills like back in the day, they used to do video game ads, and they would dress the characters up. Uh, is the game characters and they always did this kind of like lighting and stuff mm -hmm. and then they have screenshots and it'd be for like some NES game with really shitty graphics or whatever but they're like yeah this is by this game this is what the characters look like that's what this reminds me of mm -hmm. Kai reminds me and Faye reminds me of April on the side of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine oh yeah foe she's not Faye she's foe and I'm like look I mean people keep saying well she should be honest with what she wants I get it people were being like were, she was getting upset people, she felt people were mocking her I get that. I get you. I get the urge to want to say something. I totally get it. But her behavior is what started. I think that you know people were already mad about it, but that just just really set it off. 
You know, it really did. Yeah, some people are still cautiously optimistic. It is a live action. It's going to be what it is. It's on Netflix, too. It's on Netflix. So if you hear Netflix, you know what you're getting. Netflix live action anime in 2021 with an actress that has disdain for the, the original character that she's playing. What could possibly go well, wrong? Well, somebody made a, a meme and I shared it on Twitter, but it was funny because they're like, you know, Netflix with, you know, with uh, with Faye and, and they have to cover up because you can't hypersexualize her. And then they had a picture of cuties. And it's like, but that's fine. You can hypersexualize yeah. children and you refuse to take it down. That's okay. But if we have a character who literally bases part of her, her personality is based on the fact that that's how she looks and she uses it to her advantage. We can't have that. That's bad. But we can put cuties up. Yeah, they've got the original composer involved doing the music. I did know that. Um, and they have the original director involved in a consulting role. Now, that's the thing, too. We've, uh, you know, and a lot of times, like, we will give you a check just to put your name on the product because mm -hmm. it looks like a stamp of approval. But look at what happened with Snake Eyes. You know, Larry Hama went out and he was like, yeah, I'm totally okay with them retconning everything I did because I screwed up. And it's like, dude, you're just cashing a check because that was that Snake Eyes movie was not a Snake Eyes movie. Mm -mm. That character was not Snake Eyes. It didn't, no. Even if they cast an Asian uh, actor as Snake Eyes, who was blonde-haired, blue-eyed dude in the comics, it's still, the character was not Snake Eyes. No. People you are know? mad about that. So, but that's okay, because uh, Faye Valentine from Singapore isn't actually Asian. She's Mexican. That's right. And, the actress, <laughs> yeah, and, and don't you dare expect her to be like Faye. She's got to cover up, because she's, she's nothing faux. like Faye. Yeah. She's faux. So, you know what? You can like it. It's fine if you do. Um... I don't, I'm not as invested in it as, like, say, Neon is, because I watched it some, but I didn't watch it to the level he did. I kind of want to go back and watch it. Yeah, it's, um, it's But I'm afraid watching. if I do, I'm going to get more angry. You will. Um, but I'm just tired. I guess what made me mad was the attitude, because I am so tired, and we keep seeing this. These people come in, and they think they can do whatever they want to things. Everybody's just going to have to automatically love it, because if you don't, how dare you hate on a woman? Well, I'm a woman. I'm hating on your ass, because I thought what you did was shit. I'm like, you didn't have to go there. You didn't have to be catty. You could have said nothing. Or you could have said, yeah, I know. We tried the costume. It just didn't work for some reason. But then you say that. And then there's all kinds of there's pictures of you doing, wearing an outfit that's worse. Yeah. Then, you know, not the, the yellow outfit. With, with, if it's okay if another woman's smacking your ass, then that's okay. Oh, here, here. <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> that's Tom Holland, yeah. <laughs> Tom Holland would make a better still, fit. Still, that was an amazing number for Tom Holland. I still love that thing. That, that was, was really good. The, the Tom Holland would be a better fit. Uh... Yeah, so that's the thing. Because, I mean, we were talking about last night with uh, Starfire on the live-action Titans. Mm. And there was a lot of pushback on the costume and the you know the race swapping and all of this. Um, my personal problem with it was actually the, the costume. They made her look like a hooker, mm -hmm. like a cheap hooker in the first season. They did change to a better costume. But I don't remember the actress. And I, I can't remember her name off the top of my head because Titans, I watched one episode. I'm like, ah, oh, this show's garbage. But I don't remember her going out there and attacking people that were having a problem Maybe with it. Maybe she did, we don't remember. But I, I don't, she might have. I, I think we would have heard about it if she did. There were a lot of people defending her, but I don't remember her. Not saying she should just sit back and take it, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's but like, the difference was they said a lot of people were upset because they said that she doesn't look like Faye. And the outfit doesn't look like Faye. Right. And she took that personally, you know? And then it was like, but, you know, I, I guess some people, I guess they said some people were sending her, you know, sending her nasty messages and stuff. Which, at that point, you know what? I don't ever do that. That's bullshit. It's not, you know, she didn't pay, you know, she, they, they cast her, they put her in that outfit, okay? It's not, up to that point, that was not okay. You shouldn't be spamming her with, with nasty shit. But then her response to it didn't do it, didn't, you know, was putting kerosene on the fire. It wasn't putting water on the fire and put it out. She just put kerosene on the fire to try to, you know, fan the flames. At this point, now she kind of deserves what she gets. Still don't send her private messages because that's bullshit. But she's going to get backlash now because she, she did something really dumb. Oh, so here they name check the quartering. Oh my God. So this is, okay. So this is where we're at, guys. This is where we're at. So we got the Daily Dot doing this article backing her up because the quartering uh, uh, did a video on on the situation. Yeah, I don't even watch quartering. Yeah, everybody thinks we, everybody thinks like all of us YouTubers, like we all hang out together. Yeah, we, we don't. We don't actually, but, but, um, you know, so, and they're probably come after him because he does, he does call out journalists often. We do too. Yeah, so do we. But that doesn't mean we all hang out together either. No, but I mean, it's like, look, I get why she reacted the way she did. I, I, I understand it. I just think that it was a really bad idea. And it was really done in such a condescending way. But that's kind of where we're at right now. Like, it's, it's, it's getting old. It's getting really tiresome to be like, you know, every show, these celebrities, you know, they're going to go on social media and they're just going to, you know, 
At this point, it's not going to change anything. No. Your best bet it, when they act this way or they do this shit, just don't watch it. Yeah. I'm I, just going to tell you straight up, if, you, if, if you're mad about this, you don't like behavior, just don't watch it. I, I really have no desire. But th again, I think Netflix wants you to hate watch it because they're still getting the views. That's, I think they do. They set this up. They set this. Uh, they, they probably set it up in such a way they knew it would cause backlash and they're fanning those flames on purpose because then, you know, people will watch it just because they'll still get it. They'll still get clicks. Um, you can wait and see if other people watch it. If, if they like it and they say it's good, then, you know, you can check it out then. But if you don't, if you're like really pissed about it, don't watch it because that's just giving them what they want. Yeah, I, and it's it's not Cowboy Bebop. There's there's one Cowboy Bebop. This is not it. She uh, can be Faye. She can be Foe. But you know what? You don't have to watch it. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe. Yeah, this is my feeling <laughs> right here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.